Yeah, well, I, you know, the time before they came out in a zone. So we had two actions to come to do that. We were, didn't know if they were going to be a zone. They came out in man. And we were uh, earlier in the, in the overtime, we ran a, an action where we just cleared the left slot and had Javion go down, down the slot. So we, we, we ran the same action. He's an elite free throw shooter. He's our best shot maker. And I thought they guarded it well. They leveled him off. They, couldn't, they wouldn't let, you know, and that's hard to do with Javion because he's so quick. And, uh, and then Javion made a great shot. You know, I think that's uh, – uh, we had two, two actions ready, you know, one zone, one man, the man one. Um, you know, we got him to the rim last uh, time before, and uh, that's what we wanted the ball at the end of the half. You know, in practices and all year, he's, he has that ability to make sh tough shots. And, you know, I mean, th that was uh, a very tough shot. It was a great play by Javian to, to, to cap off an amazing game. Go ahead, Eli. You talked about his confidence yesterday, and there have been ups and downs, at least in the box score this season. You said you've seen him hitting shots in practice and things like that. Has he wavered in any way? No, I, you can ask him what I told him. I, I kept on saying, keep shooting. He get, took some really good ones in the first half. He just missed. I think he missed his first five. I just kept on telling him, keep shooting. I took him out, uh, and offense, defense, of that one play right there. I put my arms around him. I said, hey, you're going to come in and keep playing. I mean, you're going to keep making big, big play. Total confidence in him. Kept on telling him to keep shooting. We'll go Bob, then we'll go Holden. Porter, when did you know Waldo was going to be good enough to go? Did you have any idea he'd be able to give you that type of effort? He's, he's been playing at such a high level. We knew when he went out we were going to miss him because for seven straight games he was one of the best players. And uh, his presence, so yesterday he, he, so two days ago he got about 25% of the reps. Yesterday he got about 50% of the reps. And he was just like, I, I want to I play. I want to go on it. And uh, what a warrior. What a game he had. I mean, just a huge part of the win, and we, we missed that. I mean, his just presence, 20 points, he's just having a will to win right now, and uh, it was great that he was able to come back and play. And then you had him start the second half. Was that a wake-up call? For no. Tega was great with it. Tega was – and you know what? And it helped Tega. I'm telling you, that was, it was the first time I, I did that all year, and I, oh, Tega could not have been better. And it, it, look what he did. I don't think he missed a shot in the second half. I mean, I thought that was Otega of the past. So I don't know if it relieved some pressure on him or what, but watching Tega in the second half reminded me of earlier in the year of Tega. Porter, this rivalry, the way this game ended, I mean, just what are the emotions like? I, I just can't say enough. Um, two things. One about Oklahoma State's team. How tough they're playing. How well they played today. They, they, I mean, they, I thought Oklahoma State played unbelievable. So many big shots by both teams. I thought the atmosphere was elite. Um, and I give credit to Oklahoma State and their fans and that to make that a, a great rivalry. I said this two days ago in our press conference. I see a world where this isn't our last bedlam game. That's what I see the world in that. Um, but I, I do win or lose, and I know it's, it's tough. They played Oklahoma State and Oklahoma, both, these, both those teams were resilient coming back and forth in a high emotional game. What performances by a lot of their players and our players on stage in an emotional game, and I give them total credit. These are the games you sign up for, though, right? When you play basketball, when you coach basketball, these are the, the games you live for, right? Especially when the last shot falls. Um, you know, this, it's just uh, – but it, there's, there's got to be a resiliency to you. It's back and forth. It's never the – you know, back and forth, back and forth, and uh, just so hard fought. And, um, but absolutely, um, these guys came in here and the, our guys this week was determined to, they, they, they felt like they, they had to win this game. I, I really feel like the, the guys did. The, and not in terms for any other thing other than themselves. They lost two in a row, but these guys keep bouncing back. We lost two tough ones um, and they bounce back. But I can't say it enough, I'm, I, I'm, I, know, I, I can't say it enough. What, uh, what an atmosphere on both players, both both players, the atmosphere. When Wright hit that shot in the corner, it's as, it's as loud as a game I've seen a game. You know that was an unbelievable shot that he hit. Um, so great atmosphere. We go Jesse and Colton. Porter, you mentioned yesterday that the game in at Boy Noble a couple weeks ago was a defensive battle. Today, you know both teams are really making shots. They had the lead for a lot of the game. Just how big maybe is it for this team to come out with a win like this? Because it was so physical. I thought both teams were very physical. And uh, so you, you had to make some plays. And uh, the score, you know, um, if you would have told me, we'd have, you know, we'd have given up 82 and one, I probably would have said, there's no way, just because how physical. And he probably, Mike would have probably said the same thing, both teams. But it just kept on going back and forth with some elite 
elite plays. Um, I thought both teams, um, you know, really showed resilience. And that, that's the thing that I um, – because I, I think Oklahoma State's playing really well. They guard so tough. And uh, you felt it out there. Our guys felt it too. Well, and you mentioned uh, you needed to pour some confidence into Luke Northweather. It yeah. Like he had some, some good moments today. Just how big is that for him? You know, I think his first basket was an offensive rebound. And that's – we always you, – you, people from Norman always – media, you, you know I always say don't put all your eggs in your shooting basket. And Luke got an offensive rebound. He didn't take one dribble and pick it up. He was, he was more – he was doing good. And then time came, he had a big three in the corner. So, um, you know, it was good. We need all hands on deck. In this time of year against the Big 12, you need, you need all hands on deck, especially with John out. Well, Porter, you talked about learning how to win for this group. How big was the step in this emotional game on the road, especially how the last one was so emotional? It, it was huge. I mean, we talked about it at like the eight-minute timeout, being down four or whatever timeouts. There were certain timeouts we were down four or six, and we just were talking about keep fighting. All you got to do is be up at the end. And, you know, and uh, that we just literally were just talking resiliency, fighting through, guarding. And it was hard to guard them. I mean, they're, they're, they, put, they, they can go downhill and they're so physical. They can take a bump and finish. Um, I thought Milo's took some bumps and finished. I thought Milo's did. But I, I can't say the word resiliency on both ends. I'm not just saying us. I mean, they were, they were resilient. You know, we, we, had, we, we, were, we started off taking a lead in the half and they kept on answering. We're going Mason and Gracie. Uh, Porter, the ever by Jalen early, 14 rebounds. How big was, was hit him early on the glass to keep you guys in? Man, his energy level, you know, he had four fouls. So Jalen Moore had 11 points, 14 rebounds, five on the offensive glass. Um, we had 16 offensive rebounds. That was huge for us. Um, huge for us. And Jalen had five and Sam had four. Just so much you have to have stuff like that against Oklahoma State in this atmosphere, the toughness in this kind of a rivalry. You have to get those extra possessions. And I thought those two getting nine of them was big. I thought Tega had a nice offensive rebound put back. You talk about Michael Wright hitting the three-pointer. It gets really loud. What did you say to the guys in that moment to kind of keep it going? Just settle down. You just, hey, good shot. I mean, we, next play. we gotta, we got to play next play. And um, that's what we were talking about, just being calm. Just being calm. He had a very, very tough shot. He, it wasn't like he wasn't guarded. He had a great shot and he just, you know, uh, so we just tried to stay calm. Next play, what we were going to do. Go ahead, Grace. Speaking of the Otega putback, you had a full point play coming out of halftime and then off the free throw, Otega had the putback for a full point play. Um, how important was that? Was yeah. Like an eight point swing, you know, in a game like that. When you get four point plays, we had two of them. Waldo got fouled on the three, that offensive rebound on the free throw. I mean, those are intangible. You got to, you got to stack intangible plays like that. And, uh, you know, I thought Otega did, and it's just so good to see him just make warrior-like plays, Otega. And that was one of them. He had an offensive rebound, he had that one, um, and not get caught up in anything else. Just, I thought, he had, I thought he had some of the best finishes I've seen in a long time from Otega. It was great to see. Any additional questions, Coach? We'll go back on uh, Just real quick, the potential game winner in regulation, I'm assuming they don't want Hicklin to shoot the game-winning three. What did you guys? What were you guys able to do to, you know, get them to what I assume would probably be their last option? Well, if I think they were doing what almost every coach in the country do, you're trying to get a lob to, at the rim. There's no offensive golding, goaltending fouls from the out of bounds. For those that didn't know that, you can throw it from out of bounds, and there's no offensive goaltending. You can literally catch it in the cylinder. All right. So we knew that, you know, with Daly right there, we were just we were trying to not give up the lob. You know, that was the one thing we didn't want to give up because you could throw it by the rim. There's no offensive goaltending, and you get the lob. So that's – I mean, I, th I think they were trying to back screen him. I would too. I mean, that's – the with point six, there's not a lot, you know, you, you know, especially with uh, that. So that's what we um, – that's what we were trying to guard against, and that's what we would have done too, trying to throw it to the rim with point six.